Yer, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Special little video I want to do today. Um, and prior to get into the discussion, I want to say that two months ago, I posted a video and I named it Why Harley Davidson Isn't Selling Motorcycles Anymore. And I got a whole bunch of crap for it. People were talking down and telling, and telling me that I didn't know what I was talking about, that I don't know who the, the real core Harley Davidson rider is and blah 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 if you want to look at that video i'm going to link it up at the end so you guys can watch that video afterwards if you're interested in it um but funny so i filmed that video two months ago a month later the ceo steps down um i'm pretty sure he got fired because he was the ceo but he stepped down and he wasn't even on the he's not even on the board anymore so if you're not on the board anymore that means that you got fired all right so i could be wrong I, who knows but Homie got fired. Now, if you're wondering why I have this little notepad here, it's because I have a bunch of ideas. I don't want to go rambling on around the video. I want to go, you know, strategically on topics and everything like that. So we'll start off with the CEO first, obviously, uh, Matt Levitage, who's been the CEO since 2015 to 2020. So five years. In those five years, Harley Davidson has gone down 17% in declined sales. That's a lot of money. That's millions and millions and millions of dollars. Now the big decline sales in Harley Davidson is the big bagger bikes. That's where Harley Davidson gets most of his money from. It's these big expensive bagger bikes which are no longer selling like they used to. It's because they cost a ton of money. We're talking about twenty-seven thousand for a roll glide special. That's a lot of money right there, man. Twenty-seven thousand dollars and then you wonder why the company isn't doing that much. I mean the prices are just Climbing, 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 and the sales are declining. So right in the middle, you need to stop, see what you're doing wrong, change your strategy, and see what type of clientele you can reach in the proper way. Now I'm gonna bring up my Robin Hood up right here, and I'm gonna see what the uh, Harley Davidson market share is at today, right? I'm gonna press search, uh, hug, uh, $15. I know it's bad right now because the whole coronavirus thing going on, but $15 per share a month ago, I know it was around $35. Uh, a few months ago, I know it was around $40 something dollars. But $15 for a Harley Davidson share, it's really bad. Really, really, really bad. Now, in the past five years that Matt has been CEO, they have introduced a lot of changes. In this year alone, we have what we have the Pan America coming out, which I'm a big fan of. So they are reaching out to new clientele, and the reason why they're reaching out to new clientele is because their current clientele isn't buying their 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 bikes that much. So they need to reach out and see who can they grab from the adventure bikes, sport bikes, and everything like that. So the Pan America obviously coming out hasn't come out yet, but hopefully that helps them out. The electric bike, the live wire, amazing, just came out. This is the future. I know you don't want to hear it, but electric is the future. Look what Tesla's doing. Tesla has encouraged every car maker right now to make an electric car, and they are doing amazing. Uh, amazing. Now, they're also going to come out with the street bike, which is the Street Fighter, which is still not out. I'm wondering why yet, but they're trying to reach out to the sport bike, the naked bike riders. They want that clientele because a lot of people are going into buying a lot of naked bikes right now because they are freaking cool. Now, real quick, I want to talk about the mistakes that they have made, all right? We're going to start with number one. They have not reached out to the new clientele in the proper way. If you think about Harley Davidson, you ever think about, ask any person, what comes to mind when you think about Harley Davidson? And they're going to think, old, white dude, all leather, big beard, big belly, chrome bike. The average person, I'm not talking about your normal Harley Davidson rider or the normal motorcycle rider, just the average person. That's the first th that's the first thing that I come to mind. And if I'm wrong, stop watching this video right now, but come on, ask your neighbor. What do you think about Harley Davidson real quick? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Leather, belly, old guy. And that's what people, that's what we gotta change for the clientele to reach into the company, to spend money, to invest their time, their money, and everything into the company. Now, with that being said, they need to drop prices, all right? The prices are too high on these bikes, too, too high. My bike is $20,000, $18,999. dollars 
but put taxes and then delivery and everything on top of that, you're looking at $21,000, $22,000 for this bike. That's a lot of money. This bike to me should have been out with tax and delivery and everything. Everything. I think the highest point should have been seventeen five. dollars That's the most this bike should have been. Now, another thing that I think they should be doing that they did wrong was a few years ago. They gave all these rich actors and actresses a bunch of new Harley Davidson bikes for them to take out, ride, and get their opinions. People who don't know nothing about bikes. Why? That's not the way to reach out to your clientele, your core rider. Why will you do that? Instead, instead, give it to the influencers. Give it to the YouTubers. People like me, I'm not so big on YouTube, but there's a ton of people out there who have hundreds and thousands of subscribers. Give it to them. Let us, the YouTubers, let us, give us the bikes. Let us give people the real, the, the real ideas, the real, um, the honest reviews on these bikes. Let us tell people what we think about the bike. Not the rich people, they, 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 they don't need this. Give us, the people who dedicate our time, me, I do it as a hobby and I dedicate my time to show you guys my bike and my ideas. Now, a few things that have been doing wrong, like I just mentioned right now, they're giving rich people bikes. Why? I don't know, give it to us. Another thing um, is the high prices, like I mentioned, drop the prices. Um, avoiding warranties for stupid reasons. Oh, you uh, put, um, you changed your exhaust and you didn't use a Harley Davidson tuner, so we're gonna avoid your warranty. That's stupid, man, come on. like. Work with your clientele, your core, core, core riders. Why would you do that? Why are you gonna go and play the person who just spent 20 grand on a bike, $30,000 on a bike, and now you're gonna play them out because, oh, they, they changed out a little uh, muffler and did something else to the bike? Come, come on. Another thing is, I, I, I just don't think the brand is welcoming new clientele, new customers in the way they should be. Um, I, I'm not gonna get into that. I, I, want, I kinda wanna get into it, but I kinda don't because I don't wanna go down the wormhole. I, I'm, I'm, let's just skip over that one, right? Um, bad market. Like I mentioned before, why are you giving rich people bikes? Give it to the YouTubers, the real influencers. Most people watch YouTube. They hardly watch TV anymore. They Everybody watches YouTube, all right? So marketing scheme, real idea, bing! Let's give it to YouTubers. Once again, they really don't know their clientele. But that, I keep saying it, but they don't know their clientele. Going down the list here, they don't know who their rider is. They know what their ride. They don't know what the riders want because they're not making the proper bikes. All right, look at this bike. Everyone's doing so many crazy cool ideas with this bike. Go on YouTube, and they're adding FXR fairings and doing a whole bunch of cool stuff and making them out to this bike to be something else that is not and that's cool and that's youtubers doing that that's the core riders doing that so why not look at your riders why not take our ideas invest in us you know take a few youtubers 50 100 200 give each one of them a bike because i'm pretty sure that the bike out of your factory doesn't cost twenty thousand dollars it probably costs half if not even less Give it to us. Let us review it. Let us tell the viewers what we think about it. Let us promote it for you. That's free promotion, it's free marketing. Now in just marketing, these people spent $39 million. Spread $39 million out to the YouTubers, to the influencers, and I'm pretty sure your market sales would have gone up because we are the people that the, 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 the public looks at. Nobody's looking at commercials. Nobody's looking at these weird people who you put in your commercial who probably don't know anything about bikes. You're dedicating your time to people who know nothing about bikes. All right, you, that's, that's where you're going wrong. Now I went down this list and these are just a few little ideas which I had. And um, like I said before, but when, when I did this video, I got a lot of crap for it. People told me that I didn't know what I was talking about. Oh no, Harley Davidson sold all these bikes. Used bikes are selling. Go, go to your nearest dealership. They're, they're packed of fulls used bikes. People are buying and, and, and wasting their money on used bikes. New bikes are not selling, and that's why the market shares are dropping. It's common sense. Market shares drop when your new product isn't selling. Just because you see a lot of bikes on the road doesn't mean that 
they're selling bikes. Those are used bikes that people will keep buying, buying and selling and buying and selling. That does not help the company grow. It doesn't. Now, I'm sorry if I went on a rant and I, I get emotional about these things because it's, I, I wanna see the company grow. I wanna see the longevity of the company for another 100 years. I want that and that's why I'm so emotional about this because I love my bike, I love the brand and I wanna see them win, baby. Like DJ Khaled, win. Now, if you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. Drop your comments down below. You don't need to agree with me. If you do agree with me, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you think they should be doing different. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. I'm, 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 I'm doing this video today to get your opinion, guys. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I want your honest, truthful opinion today. Also, if you're new to my channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. I upload at least twice or three times a week. And that was my Harley Davidson rant for today. But um, I, I, I just got super hyped because I did that video two months ago and I got a lot of crap for it. And then a month later, the CEO gets fired and... And all the facts are out there. If you don't believe me, Google the facts. They're there. Go YouTube it. Google it. Everything is there. I'm not lying about none of this stuff. Do I know everything? No. I, I don't know anything 100%. But I, I'm able enough to go on Google, do my research, see what's going on, and put two and two together, right? So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride. Peace.